हुई मुद्दत के गालिब मर गया पर याद आता है वो हर एक बात पे कहना कि यूं होता तो क्या होता इट्स बिन अ वाइल सिंस गालिब इज डेड एंड गॉन बट वी ऑफन थिंक अबाउट हिज हैबिट ऑफ सेइंग एट एवरी टर्न व्हाट इफ दिस हैड हैपेंड व्हाट इफ थिंग्स हैड टर्नड आउट दिस वे हाय माय नेम इज अमित बसोले आई एम अ फैकल्टी मेंबर एट अजीम प्रेम जी यूनिवर्सिटी इन बैंगलोर and i invite you to join me on a journey on thinking with ghalib and his everyday relevance to our life today ghalib is one of south asia's most famous poets when the word when his name is mentioned people often think of either his ghazals and his love poetry or they think this is a very difficult poet to understand he uses a lot of difficult words i don't really understand what he means all of this is true but as i hope you will find out in this series of videos ghalib is a very fun person to think with he is critical he is sharp he is intelligent he is philosophically minded and he is mischievous his poetry shows all of these aspects of him although it's been a while as he himself says in the verse that i quoted it's been a while since he is dead ghalib died in 1869 much before our modern india pakistan modern south asia came into being and yet all over the subcontinent wherever people either understand urdu or even understand hindi uh, or have read translations of him in english they have responded they have resonated with his poetry and they continue to do so decades indeed centuries after he has uh, died what is it about him yes he is difficult Yes he does talk about love and longing and all of those things but he is quintessentially a modern poet he likes to reflect critically on the world around him on human beings and their failings he makes fun of them he likes to think about what does it mean to be human what does it mean to relate to divinity what does it mean for people of different faiths habits and customs to live with each other people of different religions to practice their own religions faithfully and yet coexist what does it mean for human beings to search for what makes them human and what kind of society they should live in he is worrying about all of this stuff in his poetry and through his poetry we can think about our world today and reflect on it it gives us powerful tools to think about our world in a recent book with my co-author anju maltaf from lahore called thinking with galib poetry for a new generation which has been published both in india and pakistan which takes 30 couplets or shares by galib and thinks socially with them by thinking socially i mean think about those couplets from a non traditional perspective and see what kind of meaning we can make of them for our society today for our politics today for the questions that we ask uh, ourselves as society today what we have tried to do in the book is through each of these 30 couplets we think with ghalib as the title says and we encourage you to read to reflect on those couplets and hopefully find your own meanings in them we don't claim any authority over a single interpretation or meaning we'd like readers to use their own critical thinking to think about what does the verse say about us and our society so in this series of videos i'll be offering you our interpretations uh, and hopefully that will prompt you on a journey to discover your own come join me on this journey thank you